So, hello everyone. Uh, thanks again for joining us. Joining us right now, we have 250 people online um, listening to this conference. Thanks again for joining us. Uh, my name is Amir Humayun Jagodi. Um, I am a senior lecturer in the School of Psychology at the University of Kent, United Kingdom. I would like to welcome everybody uh, for joining us today, and I would like to say a few thanks to those who supported us and our speakers. So, um, the conference has been funded by Experimental Psychology Society in the UK to be held at University of Kent, United Kingdom. But due to current circumstances, we decided to hold the conference online instead of postponing it or canceling it. We are very grateful that we are holding this conference today and tomorrow, as many other conferences and meetings have been canceled and research has been slowed down due to the pandemic. I would also like to thank our invited speakers in the order of their talks, Marcus, David, Stefan, Joydeep, and Andrea, who kindly agreed um, to come to University of Kent for the conference before we decide to move the conference to online setting. And thankfully, we have them now with us to present their talk online throughout the two days of the conference. We also have five other uh, wonderful speakers um, who submitted their abstract, we reviewed their work, and uh, we are very excited to have them throughout the two days of the conference. Let me also briefly introduce you the organizing committee. Um, we have Professor Andrea Halpern from Bucknell University, USA, um, and my fantastic PhD student, Amelia Torell, and myself. So this is the organizing committee, um, and we are very grateful that we are um, holding this conference and you are with us um, today. So just a few words about the history of the conference. So the original plan was to hold the conference um, in Canterbury, United Kingdom at University of Kent. This is the view of the city uh, from the campus. The campus is on top of a hill and you can also see this, um, the top of the cathedral um, in Canterbury, which is an iconic um, cathedral um, in England. But unfortunately, we couldn't hold the conference in person, but um, that is absolutely fine. Um, let us uh, have a look at the positive side of uh, moving the conference to online presentation. In here, you see the um, number of registrants throughout um, 2020. We began the advertisement um, around mid-January, and we had a few um, like registrants at the beginning. And then um, a bit later, we um, emailed to all universities in the UK. We had some more attention. And then until about 7th of April, we had uh, almost 110 um, attendees, registrants. Early April, we announced that uh, BCHEM, the conference, is going to be online, and we suddenly have a like, surge of uh, registrations in the conference. And a bit later, towards the end of April, we began advertising in different mailing lists, and that also boosted the number of uh, registrants to um, 15th of May, which was the end of the registration. Up to today, we have 200 to 823 registrants, and we are very excited about it. And we have participants from all of the world, basically, from the West Coast, US, up to Auckland and New Zealand. We have participants, um, and we are very glad that the online setting that we have in here uh, enabled many um, of our friends and colleagues um, those who we know and those who we don't know, um, join us in the conference, which I think is very valuable considering the current circumstances that a lot of meetings um, and conferences are canceled. So um, again, uh, welcome. And we understand that uh, the timing of the conference um, is a bit uncomfortable for 
some of people like um, it is very late in the evening for some people and very early morning in some others um, like for some others um, but um, we didn't have any other option glad that um, right now we have people from um, China and Singapore they said uh, like good morning uh, to us and we also have participants from Canada and the US so um, it is very exciting to have you all um, in here let me briefly uh, go over the schedule that we have. This is today um, in London, in England, it is Wednesday uh, 20th. And in here you see two columns. Uh, one is British, British summertime. Um, beginning was half past 12 um, that we had the technical uh, check. And then at one we began with my talk. And this is another um, time that uh, our colleague in the West uh, U.S. and Canada are um, more comfortable with uh, conversion of the time. So um, we are going to have five lectures throughout the two days. And each session will consist of one longer uh, lecture, which is by our invited lecturer. And we have a shorter talk by um, another uh, colleague who is, um, we call them presentation. So the duration of the invited talks are going to be 45 minutes. Um, and then following that, we have 15 minutes of uh, Q&A, question and answer. Um, the duration of the shorter talks uh, is going to be 15 minutes uh, with 10 minutes of Q&A, uh, question and answer. Um, following the first set of uh, lectures that we have, we have uh, the poster session which is 2.45 British summertime um, for about 45 minutes. For that one, uh, you need to leave the webinar and, and go to the uh, OSF page for BCAM uh, or go to um, the poster page in uh, BCAM website. When the time comes, I will put up the information um, for your reference. Following that, we have um, another set of lectures and that would be the end of the lectures today. Tomorrow, we will come back again and we will begin the conference um, at 10 with a half an hour technical check just uh, for people to, um, to come online um, and have some uh, greetings. Hello, how are you? And like, uh, good evening, good morning, um, all of that. And then we continue with three sets of um, lectures. And at the end of tomorrow, uh, we are going to have a discussion panel, which all our uh, invited speakers will um, join together. And we are going to have um, a one hour discussion. Um, we have um, a few questions that we are going to ask the, the panelists uh, to comment on, but uh, you are also more than welcome to send us your questions and uh, we try to um, include those questions in the discussion as well. The way that we communicate with each other, um, if you hover your mouse um, on the image that you see in Zoom screen, you see on the bottom of the screen, you see um, these four options basically. Um, audio setting is basically for you to set up your audio. As uh, you have realized, um, your audio and video is off, basically. And um, because it is a webinar setting, um, you will not be allowed to um, talk, um, especially because we have a lot of attendees at the same time. Um, we decided not to um, let attendees talk. And you cannot turn on your camera either. Only the panelists can turn on their camera and their microphone. But we will send you um, announcements uh, through the chat uh, message. So for example, um, I'm going to send um, a chat here. Uh, hello everybody. And you should receive it on your side. Um, so that is how we communicate with each other. If you have any questions, there is another button Q and A. Um, that is where you use to send us your questions and we monitor all the questions. 
the questions that you send us will be moderated. And at the end of the uh, lectures, we will ask those uh, questions from uh, the speakers. We try to um, ask as many questions uh, as possible from the speakers, but um, the time is very short for, um, for 15 minutes for the longer talks and only 10 minutes for the shorter talks. So um, apologies in advance if we are not, uh, we don't have the possibility to ask you a question. If we receive a few questions that are in the same direction, we try to combine them together to basically answer as many questions as possible. Um, so that is it for uh, my talk. We um, are going to have uh, the next talk um, soon. So um, I will end my talk now um, and we will begin the next talk in about four minutes. Thank you.